Hello all, my name is Raj Tota and I'm an architect for the tech marketing team here at Carbon Black. Today we will be running through a scenario based demo where we will be highlighting the key feature offerings of XDR. Carbon Black XDR extends enterprise EDR by adding network visibility, IDS and identity intelligence to strengthen the overall security. This extended detection and response telemetry deploys with no changes to infrastructure or endpoints. There is no need for a network tap to get network visibility. Comlac XDR transforms a fleet of endpoints into distributed network sensors, helping identify highly sophisticated threats across multiple control points. This leaves attackers nowhere to hide. Let's take some time now to run through the demo of the product by running a live attack and highlighting some of this key additional visibility that we get with Carbon Black XDR. So the example we're looking at today is a phishing attack. It's one of the most common and most people have come across this form of attack at work or even at home. An employee receives an email with a word attachment which looks legit, the sender's legit, the end user was expecting this type of email and the language used looks good too. The employee is excited and opens the attachment. And now from their point of view, nothing's happened. But let's see what actually happens in the Carbon Black console. We now have a new observations tab in investigation. Observations are items of interest, events which do not merit alert level action, but may be useful as indicators for hunting or additional investigation. You can control the observations you see by time using the histogram at the top of the page or use the facets to narrow down your search and focus the threat hunting. I'm filtering by device as I know where I ran the attack. You can see we've got quite a few observations, but to make viewing easier, we can group by attack tactic and focus on the observations you're interested in. I can see that we have a few impact observations indicating behavior commonly seen with ransomware. And by expanding the entry, I can see explanations, more details on the MITRE attack mapping we have done. Let's draw further into this observation using the process analysis view to get complete visibility of the attacker's footprint. Process visualization makes identifying root cause fast and easy. Analysts can quickly jump through each stage of an attack to gain insight to the attacker's behavior, helping organizations detect and protect against the spaces where attackers love to hide. Remember, you can't stop what you can't see. The process map shows that freecoupon underscore for life.exe was spawned by powershell.exe. What is this binary? Let's look into this. Virus Turtle shows us that this binary has been flagged as malicious and is more commonly known as dark side. How did this get onto my machine? There are four instances of powershell.exe running. They are all being spawned off winword.exe. We have multiple hits on our watch list. Watch lists provide custom detection and continuous monitoring of the environment. They are made up of reports which are collections of IOCs or indicators of compromise. With Carbon Black XDR you have the ability to use custom watch lists or use the watch lists that are already provided by Carbon Black. As well as the watch list hits, we also have netcons being made from PowerShell.exe. Let's look specifically at the netcons. This will provide us more detail into how freecoupon underscore for life.exe got onto our network. With Carbon Black XDR, we have network connection visibility. Network connection visibility enables customers to visualize and analyze network data in context using the Carbon Black Cloud. The XDR network telemetry includes continuous capture and analysis of network fingerprints, flows, and TLS data, as well as application protocol data. You can see that a HTTPS connection was made to freecoupons.com using TLS 1.2 and the flow events show that we have a large number of bytes received. This would be the download of freecoupons underscore for life.exe. I can also see information on the certificate and the JAR 3 used. Both can be useful for future detection and prevention. There are other instances of powershell.exe running at the same time from the same winword.exe process. Let's look into them. Here we can see network discovery tasks such as IP configs and netstats being run. If we look at the CMD at the top of the page, 
we can see that the outputs are being written to a file called fc underscore info.txt and that they're being uploaded to dropdocs.tk. So far, we know the initial vector of compromise is a phishing email. This email contains a Word doc which spawns PowerShell that's gathering network information for reconnaissance. The third PowerShell.exe process shows us how a text file was opened on the desktop as soon as we enable the macro on the Word doc. A PowerShell script was used to open Notepad.exe. The fourth PowerShell process is used to run an executable freecoupons.exe. I can see in the CMD line that a curl is run to c3.freecoupons.com. A file freecoupons.exe is written to program data and then executed. Note that if this command was encoded, Carbon Black would have decoded it automatically. Looking at the netcons, I can see established and outbound connections to c3.freecoupons.com. And again, received bytes showing freecoupons.exe was downloaded from the website. What happens once freecoupons.exe is run? Drilling down further, we see that cmd.exe is used to load a payload. That doesn't look too great, and we need to investigate what this payload.bat file does. Payload.bat uses PowerShell to make network connections. I can see an alert on a connection to 192.168.52.131. This is our C2 server. The connection is over 443, and I can see many XDRTTPs, bypass policy, code drops, um, fileless, I also see that XDR sees that the adversary is trying to run malicious code. This is the implant of the C2. The C2 is issuing PowerShell commands to this machine using a reverse shell over 443. Looking at the network connections, I also notice a strange connection between two machines on my network over 5985. This connection is between two machines on my network and I can see that WinRM is being used as this is the user agent. And I can also see the bytes are being sent. It's indicative of lateral movement. The adversary has compromised one machine and then from that is moving through my network using WinRM. We now have got a complete picture of what happened, all visible from a single console with XDR TTP tags, MITRE tag framework mapping and clear descriptions helping make understanding the attack simple. Remember, this was all delivered without the need to deploy any additional network appliances, devices or sensors. By enabling XE on your console, you get all this additional network visibility in addition to our already class-leading process visibility. This behavior of lateral movement using WinRM was also picked up by our intrusion detection system. The purpose of IDS is to detect and respond to malicious activity. Carbon Black XDR IDS instantly identifies malicious network behavior. Expanding the IDS alert, we provide clear details as to why we see this traffic as malicious and the network connections involved. We are monitoring the activity on a host for signs of suspicious behavior, such as changes to system files, unauthorized access attempts, or unusual network traffic. We use a mix of signature-based detections and behavioural analysis to identify potential security threats. Calm Black XDR gives you a single pane of glass to detect, respond and remediate in real time, stopping active attacks and repairing damage quickly. Calm Black XDR is reducing complexity, accelerating investigations and greatly reducing dwell time and average time to detection and time to resolution. Remember, there's no need for a network tap or to deploy additional software. There's no changes to network config or networking, and our focus is to offer an open XDR system, which is as flexible as the customer requires. Carbon Black XDR, see more, stop more.